Hi everyone, it's Kay again. In this video, I'm comparing the cabin noise test of the Fisker Ocean with that of the Tesla Model Y. Let's get started. In the last video, I compared the Lexus RX with the Fisker, and some of you said that comparing the Fisker with a gas car is not right. Well, now I've conducted the test again, this time with the most mature EV in the market, the Tesla Model Y. All right, in this test, I am measuring the cabin noise for both the Tesla Model Y and Fisker Ocean on the same route. The conditions are as follows, music off, all windows up, fans off, and completely identical conditions. First, I am measuring the cabin noise of the Tesla Model Y. I am using the NIOSH SLM app on my iPhone. Along this route, the measurements ranged from 50.3 to 64.2 decibels, with a reading of 50.3 decibels at the stop sign and 52 decibels when I reduced my speed to make a U-turn. I am an ocean owner and I conducted this test individually, so it may not be perfect, but it is within the capabilities of my current equipment. Please do not blame me for any imperfections. Also, just to clarify, this test was conducted using the 2023 Model Y test vehicle. I feel more vibration inside of the Tesla cabin compared with Ocean. So I may do this test next time to collect some data. Now, let me do it again. This time with the Fisker Ocean. The noise level measured about 44.6 decibels at the beginning of this route when the vehicle was in park. Along this route, the measurements ranged from 44.2 to 62.6 .6 decibels, with a reading of about 44.2 decibels at the stop sign and 52 decibels when I reduced my speed to make a U-turn. My Ocean software updated to version 2, so I am experiencing fewer errors during the drive. In the last video, someone criticized that the average of the minimum and maximum numbers is not working. I agree, but the result of that comparison was obvious. However, this time, I am delving into more detail to draw a better conclusion. All right. This time, I am collecting all the output from the app, gathering all the numbers for both vehicles, and creating some charts. The first chart is a linear chart where you can compare the starting point, the stop sign, the U-turn circle, and the end of the route for both cars. The second chart is an area chart, which allows you to see the highest areas more clearly. The last chart is a box and whisker chart showing the noise distribution in each car. It visually summarizes the data's spread, central tendency, median, and identifies outliers, making it useful for comparing noise levels between two cars. So this is the summary of the results. So who is the winner? 